Now, when it comes to looking at interfaces, we're talking about how we seek visual structure, right? Even when we're seeking visual structure, though, remember that we are scanning to quickly find what our focus of attention is, what our goal is. Now, when you're scanning a page and you find what you need, what are you looking at? Whatever your goal is. What can you see outside of that? Not a whole lot. There are actually several reasons for that. I'm going to talk about two of the main reasons. One we've already talked about, which is our locus of what? Attention. The other one, this actually shows you an example of. Our peripheral vision really sucks. Doesn't matter how wonderful your eyesight is, your peripheral vision really is quite poor. It's not what we really need to worry about. We need to worry about what we're focusing on. So, this is an example we've talked about earlier, right? When we're talking about things like making mistakes when you're logging into someplace. So, how many of you have gone to a website, right? You have an account, you're going to buy something, you have to log in, you click OK, or you click Submit, and it looks like nothing happens. And you're staring at it. It's not a stupid thing. Like, you're clicking like crazy. And then a few minutes later, you realize you have to scroll up and see that your password was typed in correctly at the very top of the page. Who's experienced that? Yeah, I think everybody's experienced that. So, based on what I just told you, what's the problem with that? Why are, why are we as users so dumb we just don't know to scroll up? How well does that work with our peripheral vision? Not so much. Why? You may create this, right? It may be in red. You may think that's obvious. What are we seeing? <laughs> Can you see all this? Yeah, not so much. So we have to deal with our peripheral vision in addition to what we're paying attention to. We're paying attention to logging in. I want to log in. Click log in. Okay, it's not working. I want to log in. Click log in again. I'm not seeing this way up here. What's a better solution? You've started saying that before I went to give you my subtle hint. Yes, putting it, putting it right next to where the error is. Right, so you can make it real obvious using colors, putting it right where you know the person is going to be focusing on. So using red, we think of red as, oh, there's a mistake. This helps me easily identify that mistake. You can use, some consider that a, the universal warning sign. Right, so you want to make sure that you clearly mark the error. You put it where users are actually looking because our peripheral vision is very poor and that's what we're paying attention to. Now, works great when we are doing this when we're dealing with an error. However, it can sometimes get annoying if it's not used incorrectly. Excuse me, if it's not used correctly. Such as advertisements. Right, so we can make our error messages stand out by using bright colors. We can even make it flash. You can have it make noises. What happens when you put that into an advertisement? What do you think your users think? It's annoying. It's annoying. It certainly grabs their attention. But unless they're like 12 years old or 10 years old, they find it really irritating. It's really interesting. A lot of websites make a lot of money with advertising. But if you actually look at the research, people tend not to look at them. Right? They are focused on what they want to accomplish. And even if you make it loud and irritating and annoying, 
loud not just auditorily but visually, it annoys people. So you do want to be very careful in terms of overusing these types of things. So what I want you to remember when it comes to design, you want to think about how we process information. What are we capable of physically? What are our physical propensities? What are our mental propensities? It's really important to keep those in mind. Think about the Gestalt laws and how you can apply them appropriately. Think about how we seek this visual structure Ultimately, you want to remember, we are focused on our goal. We'll actually talk more specifically about that next week. And we want to be able to scan quickly and easily. All right, any questions?